Hello and welcome back to JP Gaming and today we are back with some Kerbal Space Program and um, we are of course still playing the uh, RSS mod uh, also known as the Real Solar System mod and today I thought it would be time to land on Mars we have sent a probe there which I think yeah, right now we don't have connection to it. But there is a probe here. We know that. I can go over here and zoom in and we can check it out. And yes, it's in a very elliptical orbit. I think it'll stay here because I do believe that we do not have... Um, yeah, we do not have any fuel left. Oh no, we do have some fuel left. But I think I'm, I'm going to leave it here anyways, in this elliptical orbit. It's, uh, it's fine. But like I said, I want to try and, I want to try and land on Mars this time. And I, I have made some prior attempts to landing on Mars. And what I've learned is that you should definitely have something that can slow you down except for parachutes. I mean on Juna I know that's a good thing but on Mars in this mod it's it's a must because what what ha what the thing that has happened every time that I've tried to land on Mars is that my craft has been like a very small light craft uh, with a bunch of parachutes on and I've thought like okay that should be able to land with no problems uh, sometimes it has even had landing legs so I thought it would probably survive the impact it won't be a problem the problem is I don't get to that point because I can't slow down enough to actually get the parachutes to open and that sucks so I think we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to think about something to fix that. Just wanna see. Yeah, it's here the biggest relay. Cause I think if I were to put out some of these biggest relays, then I could probably have contact with it all the time. So I don't really know what I'm gonna do with the science that I have right now. So I can unlock something on this tier. I just realized this right now and uh, I don't really know if there's anything I want to have here. Don't need any bigger fairing or anything. Some bigger fuel tanks might be nice. Getting these parts. Why not I guess? Cause these are the biggest ones. Yeah they are. But yeah let's get these. Okay, uh, let's start building this probe. And I think I'm gonna build something with like a heat shield. And then I'm gonna be able to detach the heat shield and use some engines to slow it down and stuff. Um, I don't know how to start this really. Let's start out with the basics. No, we need a reaction wheel, we know we need some battery of some sort. And I probably want to have... I want to be able to bring all the science equipment this time. So I'm gonna do that. Um, and on this one... Of course, we're gonna land on a place that has an atmosphere, so we're gonna bring this thing and I know that thing takes a hell of a lot of electricity so we're gonna have to put a lot of batteries on this thing um, now I just need to make sure that I don't forget any of my experiments I think that's all of them right no oh. of course we can put some mystery goos in here as well can take two and then I think we're gonna put one of these big parachutes on the top here it's gonna work like kind of a 
groove type thing. You know what? Maybe, yeah. I'm gonna put the science experiments over here. And then we can actually take some uh, solar panels and put them here instead. I don't want to have two of those. Yes. I think I'm going to move this a little bit further towards here. And I want these to be able to extend and retract. I think that would be a wise thing. And now, like I said, we are going to need some sort of propellant stage. I was thinking something like this. Okay, this does have enough thrust to weight here. So it should have enough on Mars as well. So I think this could actually be it that we don't we don't need to don't need to make it more difficult than it already is. And I think I'm going to make this into that version. And then we're going to turn these like that and have batteries down there and up here so we're gonna have a lot of battery power and we're gonna take some landing links we're gonna take the smallest ones put them on there it's gonna have a very low landing profile let's change that into that version that into a totally white one and now I think this yeah, this is going to be the lander. Mars lander. Robe. What a wonderful name. For a wonderful mission. Oh, we don't have an antenna on this yet. Mm. And I would like to have a pretty good antenna don't really know what I can fit on here. I think I can fit one of these back here, probably. Then that extends out like that. Yeah, that should work. So don't think I can fit this in anywhere. Maybe I can. Maybe I can have this here. Then we extend that out like that. I don't know which one of these are better. I don't know, how do you read that? HG55 DTS M1, that doesn't really say anything Tolerance 50 Gs This one just seems to be a little bit more fragile than this one Hmm I don't know, because I know this one is better than this one, for example. But I don't really know why or how. I just know it is. But yeah, we're going to go with this one. What are the different variants? I'm going to extend it and see. Oh, okay. You know what? I'm going to see if I can have it on like this instead then. We retract that now. It retracts in like that. Because then it can be pointing upwards. That's just gonna... That's just gonna look better. Okay, let's go with that. Uh, okay, we have a lot of battery power. How much in total do we have? I think I can see that down here. 3,400. Might be enough, but also it might not. Um, hmm. Thinking of where I can put more batteries. I can probably fit four of these on here. And maybe I can fit some somewhere else. We can fit two down here as well. But I think that's it if you want to keep it kind of stylish and good looking still. But yeah, now we have 4,000 in total think that'll be enough 
We don't actually need a decoupler there, because we can just jettison the heat shield when we're done with it. I'm gonna say, is that wide enough? Barely. So I think I'm gonna go with a bigger heat shield. Let's go with the 2.5 meter one. That seems like it's gonna be wide enough. And of course I have forgotten to auto struts everything. Which is something that is very good to do. There we go. Oh. I don't think I can strut those. No, I can't. I can strut these though. Oh, and I can change the variants of these. Okay, so they can either have those attachment points or not. I think I'll go without them for this one. It's pretty cool. Uh, but okay, this is gonna be, like I said, just this is just the landing part. Now we're gonna have to build the rocket that's gonna take it to Mars. And I'm thinking we're going to make this easy for ourselves. And we're going to use a nerve engine. I think though, since we're going with a direct ascent profile. I think this will be big enough and we are going to have some, uh, some extra fuel for margins this so yeah I think we can just go with this don't think we need anything else um hmm although I am gonna put some just some solar panels on here so hopefully this can provide us with power during the travel um, to Mars Gonna get rid of those and plunk down a fairing. This is the yeah okay. This is the 2.5 meter one. I think this is gonna be perfect. Now I want to have that hole. Yeah. Okay, so a little bit of a wonky looking fairing, but. Also way better than many other fairings that I've built in my days. Because the fairings can look kind of weird sometimes. But this I feel like it looks okay. And now for the launch part itself. Let's see. If we put that on there with a poodle engine. Not that much thrust, but we do get 2,000 meters per second. So let's see, maybe we can take a sk skiff, maybe. Just give us a little bit more. Still 2,000 in that stage, that's good. I don't think this rocket is going to be too big, because it's not that heavy of a rocket. Ooh, and you know what? We do have the bigger fuel tanks. Noise. I'm gonna try at least to build something with this. Uh, let's see how that goes, because I don't really know what engine I'm gonna put down here. Maybe we can take... Might not need four, but I was thinking two mainsail engines. Change it into that variant. Okay, that's gonna be enough to push us upwards at least, but it's not gonna be enough to put us into orbit. And I, I didn't think that. I was pretty sure that we needed at least one more stage. So think we can go with just two side boosters on this one might be possible and remember what I said there it might be 
we are gonna try at least. But I think if we go with two main sails on that, those on the same, and we are gonna build this up taller. Maybe not that tall though. At least one taller. Then we put some fuel lines on there. Let's see, okay, that gives us in total 7,000. Okay, so that was not at all as much as I thought it would give us. Um, but I'm gonna build these up anyways. And then we will see. I think I'm gonna put four. We'll try and duplicate this so we get four four. Maybe we can put four in an asparagus staging instead of an onion staging. Now those need to be with this one, I think. Let's open this up so we can zoom out a little bit. Those two are with those two, yes. And that is gonna be with that. All of these are gonna fire at the same time. Now let's see, okay, we're at 8,558 right now. Let's see if we can get this right. Put two there and then two here. They evenly spread out now, I think they are, yes. Cool, cool, cool. And now I'm gonna see if I can figure out how to transfer the fuel correctly. Uh, first of all, we need to decide which ones we're gonna take away first. Um, I guess these ones, yeah. And then those ones. And then those ones, okay. Or maybe not, no. I think let's change position of these two. So then we can just do like this, that these fuel these ones. And these fuel these ones. Then there's gonna be a gap there, yes. Okay, I think it's correct now. Let's zoom out and check all our staging. Those two engines, those two, those two, and the two in the middle. Uh, we fire off those two first. Those only have that uh, fuel line, yes. Good, then those two. And they refuel those ones, which are the last ones to decouple. We decouple and then we have that stage. Okay, now that has 9,371. So damn, we basically increased it with like 1,000 meters per second by just, just adding, uh, just adding some, some fuel lines basically. That's pretty cool, but that's even like a possibility. Mm. Checking out the last stages now, and I'm thinking of where we need to put a little bit more fuel on this thing. I think we're just gonna increase this stage with one of those tanks. And yes, I think that'll be enough. It is gonna make that stage a bit worse, because uh, it's gonna have less thrust. Which kind of sucks, but I, I think it's going to be okay anyways. Hopefully. Well, you know what? Let's just go with the safe card. Let's take this off. Let's take that off. 
skip that tank, duplicate this one instead. And then we'll just put a skipper engine on here. Because I know the skipper, yeah, that's going to have enough. That's going to have a good amount of thrust. So we do get, in general, a little bit less. Uh, a little bit less uh, delta V in this. But I think it's going to be okay anyways. Yeah, let's save that. Let's go out of here and go to the tracking station. And now we're going to check. Uh, first of all, we're going to check. Where is Mars? Mars is on the other side. We're going to have to do some time warping. So we're about here somewhere. A little bit further on. Okay, there. I think that's good enough. And now we're gonna see where the space center is. We're at the correct one, yes. And that needs to be about there. And now we can launch. Now everything is in its correct position. And also I could go to my space station now and uh, um, I could go there and transfer a whole bunch of science. But I don't want to do that because the, the science lab is basically something that I can visit like once every stream transmit some science at least that's my plan just because I don't wanna I don't wanna really like use it to get all of my science I wanna use missions and rockets and landing on different places I wanna use that to get all my science And I realize now that maybe I needed even a little bit more thrust on this thing. Maybe I should have put three engines on the mid stage. Anyways. We're burning through the first stage now pretty quickly. Let's find ourselves prograde. Start this trajectory flipping. Rid of the first two ones. We're moving kind of slowly. I think it's going pretty good anyways. I think it's going a little bit slow. New line seems to be working, at least. It's good. I am a bit concerned that we have we have to fight this a little bit too much. It's not the best. It is soon time for second separation. Ah. Okay. Down here. Separate. And now for the long one. And this is the long one because it, this is the one that's gonna take the longest. <laughs> Not much more difficult than that. Okay, yeah. We definitely needed more thrust on this thing. So you know what? 
instead of trying to do this whole mission and just failing anyways sooner or later I'm gonna go back in here I think three engines should be enough right feels like it should be because I don't want to have four on there Maybe I can have another fourth engine. Maybe we can have a swivel in there. <laughs> Feels weird, but we could. Can do this. It's re really weird, but we can do it. But no, uh, no, we're not gonna do that. Although, um, to help help this with the thrust to wait a little bit in the beginning we gonna slap one of these on there gonna take the thrust on you down though to 60% because we do not need it to like blast off right off the beginning And for once, I actually think that maybe I shouldn't use these. Or just nose cones instead. I could, but then again, nah. Get rid of the liquid fuel. You're gonna be with that. I'm not gonna detach first. I think you're gonna detach here. Seems to make everybody happy. Yeah. Yeah, I have that one with the three ones, yes. Those two. A couple of that stage, a couple of that stage, a couple of these, a couple of those, and then we are off with the middle one. Yes. You know what, then I think I need a little bit more on this stage here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna plunk one more on there. Still think our staging is fine. Yeah, I could have let those be in the same stage. But nah. I know these are not gonna be in the same stage at least. Save and launch. <laughs> and a launch. A launch. A launch. A launch. A launch. A launch. I really like solid rocket boosters. And don't get me wrong, they can be hella annoying in normal Kerbal Space Program because they just blast off and yeah, they don't do what you want them to sometimes. But most of the time I think they're quite nice to have. At least in in the real solar system mod. Now the question is, is my prediction correct that these will burn out for these? So these are almost halfway empty. These are emptying fast. So that should be the case. Question is, is that the case?
And why am I going in such a weird direction? It's another good question. And I heard something explode. It's nice. And yes, these are gonna run out before these. Couple of those. Oh, and that was close. To be devastating. And the solid rocket boosters are off. Okay. But now I just think I flipped over a little bit too quickly. Now I think that was my mistake. But we are gonna go. We're gonna keep on going anyways, because I, I think, I think it's gonna work anyways. Yeah, we're starting to rise again. So it's no problem, fam. It's no problem. Keep on burning here at 30 degrees. Let's see how it behaves now that we drop those. Still increasing time drop laps, which is good. Means I'm gonna keep on burning like this, at least for a little bit. I'm gonna keep it here at 30. 30 feels like a nice round number. Apple hunt is almost leaving the atmosphere now. We just have 20 kilometers to go. My nose is itching. So I think it's time to dip this thing down a little bit. Here now, set the moon as our target and see how our angle is. Okay, it's pretty good actually. Time for separation and next stage. Can also lose that fairing now. And now we are gonna be losing time to our plebs a little bit. I think that'll change soon because we are going quite fast. Let's see if I can make this better. No, that made it worse. Just burn a little bit like this to change the angle a bit. We don't need to change it too much, but I'm thinking at least to uh, below one degree off would be nice. And I think we can do that. back here set it to point prograde oh, we still have 2000 meters per second left so I have no doubts that this will make it into orbit I 
We only need about 1,500 more. And the TWR is pretty good on this, with this engine as well. I'm glad I chose to change that to the skipper instead. Feels like that was a wise choice. start up this one and just burn so we are a bit away from it then take us up to web webs and do our circularization burn still quite far away from where app webs is can get a bit closer I don't think this is gonna be more than like a 10, 20 second burn. Yeah, not even 20. Or maybe not even 10. Not that long. Okay, good. Um, ah, I forgot we could have done this, the atmospheric experiment in the atmosphere. Totally forgot about that. But now it is time to plan our next maneuver to go to Mars. No waiting around here. We are getting a close encounter there. I think we're gonna have to burn somewhere around here, maybe. Okay, this is gonna be too big of a burn. Don't wanna do that. Hmm, do have a close encounter there. I thought we would have a close encounter somewhere else. Maybe we time warped too much. Yeah, I think we did. Well, that does take us closer. I think we only need to burn something like that. And then we're gonna get a... Yeah, okay. We can get there. No problem. I always forget that I can't point this thing the way I want it to. And like we have done previously when going to any celestial body, almost. Or I think, I, I think actually it is. Every time that we went to a let's say about it, even the moon, we've done multiple burns. We're gonna start off with a three minute burn here. And start burning. And time warp. Okay, so in total, this burn is gonna be about 10 minutes. It's a long ass burn. But I think that might be taken down to like nine minutes since we divide it up. And then when you divide it up like this, it's gonna be more efficient. And that's gonna mean the burn is gonna be shorter. So maybe we can shave off. Maybe not a minute, but at least like half a minute, I think. F 
five more seconds of burning. And there we go. First burn is done. The next burn that this shows would be about 400 meters per second, something like that. We don't need to plan out this whole one. We can just plan out the three minute burn that we're gonna make. Because that's what we're gonna do. We can see how far out we get from that. I think there'll be one more three minute burn or maybe a two minute burn next time. And then we're gonna do the the burn that will take us uh, out of Earth's sphere of influence. could also, if we need it, we could actually borrow a little bit of fuel from the upper stage. I don't think we'll need that thousand meters per second in that stage anyways. I'm gonna stop the time warping and fix how we're pointing a little bit. So we got off there for some unknown reason. And we are now finished. And yeah, I think we're gonna do a two minute burn this time. Yeah. Let's do that. Just don't like to get too far out. So I think, let's see, a three minute burn. Okay, okay, we can actually do a three minute burn again. It didn't take us out as far as I thought it would. did it with the time warping a little bit. But I think it's okay. I'm just gonna burn a little bit shorter. Still gonna burn about 2 minutes and 50 seconds instead of 3 minutes. I feel like it. Ah. And now we'll make the initial burn that we needed to do. I need to burn about that much. 
let's time warp up to that. Seems at least like we're getting we're getting some sun exposure on those solar panels, which is enough. Don't need to get that much. No, it's only going to be a 2 minute and 10 second burn. Instead of having to burn for 10 minutes. Which is nice. It's really nice. Still going to time warp a bit through this though. Because it's boring, just sitting and waiting. <sighs> but you do get a good feeling of accomplishment when you're when you actually get to a planet after a a long mission like this. Although it's not that long. The Venus mission we did yesterday was horribly long and felt so unnecessary. And uh, if you weren't here yesterday, I, uh, I, I ended that stream with, with a decision to never go back to Venus ever again. I am... I might send something to put in orbit around Venus, but no, I'm I'm not going to Venus. I'm just not gonna do that. Oh no, it seems like this burn is gonna be way longer, so we're gonna see if we can change that in any way. And I think I'm burning the wrong way right now. Yeah, I was. Okay. That's as good as we're gonna get it right now. But 400 meters per second, that's about half of what we have. So we have the other half to get a, uh, to get a closer approach. Oh, and I totally forgot. We need to open up this antenna as well. So otherwise we, we're not gonna have any connection on our way to Mars. And I really hope now that I can retract this one again. Yes, I can retract that. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I didn't think of that. But I know you can retract the one in the stock game, but I don't know, maybe I thought maybe something had changed with the mods and stuff. Uh, 50 seconds, so I should have started a little bit earlier than this, but I think we are okay. I'm gonna try and get this uh, spurn as spot on as possible, because this was a pretty good, pretty good, pretty good maneuver. It's hard to see exactly where the blue maneuver node is over this, uh, the normal marker. I 
the normal marker. Okay, I'm gonna take down the throttle a bunch now. And there we go. Point 0.1 away from it. Okay, let's see if we can make another maneuver node here somewhere. How can we change our orbit to get closer? Can definitely burn anti normal, it seems like. Not even gonna have to burn that much to do quite a good change. And a little bit radial out. That is gonna put us pretty close. I'm just scrolling. I can feel I'm like getting dizzy from looking at this and scrolling this slowly. Hundred and seventy. Okay, there we are. That is perfect. So basically, we're gonna have to get up here and then burn the opposite of way of where we burned first. <laughs> Weird. But that's space for you. It is weird. But we managed to get this down to a very small... Very small burn, which... Makes me happy, because then we're gonna have... At least we're gonna have some fuel left. For when we get captured and stuff. We can try and use that to fix our trajectory, maybe even slow us down a bit, stuff like that. How close did we get? Can't see it from here really. Oh! We are now gonna crash into Mars. Make a quick save for that. Um not really any science experiments I can do now because I have I'm fairly sure that I have done the magnetometer boom thingy that looks so cool when that like spirals out yeah I had done that one so you can crawl back in And I think I'll actually try and see if it's possible for me to like skim in through the atmosphere once, get out, and then get in one more time. And not just go straight in and try to go for a landing. Still have a connection. It's weak, but we have one. And I think it's pretty much thanks to this relay that we put out here. We are going to come in at a polar orbit once again, radio out. We need to point. And like I said, we, we're going to make a quick save here before I do anything. And now we're going to make sure that we don't just fall into the atmosphere. Okay, so according to this, this will not take us into any orbits or anything like that. It's We're just going to go through and then go out again. But when we decouple this, we're going to be a lot lighter. And we're going to have a different 
the area of resist wind resistance and stuff. So when we decouple this, oh, we also decoupled the wrong direction. So now we pushed ourselves radial out and that fucked everything up. Just did a bad thing. Yes, I did. Okay, so we're at this 52 now. We're gonna point ourselves in a different direction before <laughs> before uh, decoupling that. We're gonna point ourselves uh, retrograde instead. Still gonna make a difference, but not as big. Okay, we're still not gonna get captured by that. Ba -ba -da -ba -doom. Just did a bad thing. So we need to burn a little bit more. I'm going to take the thrust down. And we're going to burn ourselves not radial out, radial in. Or actually, maybe we can just put ourselves retrograde. And burn that way. And that will take us down further. And also slow us down a little bit. Make a new quick save while facing like this. Is slowing us down and putting us with our trajectory. Let's take it down to 50. And then decouple and see how does it look now. Okay, now this is going to put us into an orbit after going through the atmosphere. The reason why I want to do that are twofold. Uh, one, because I think it's safer. And two, because then I can do an atmospheric analysis in the upper atmosphere, get out, transmit that, and then when I get in again, I can do another one uh, when I'm close to the surface and in the deeper parts of the atmosphere. And I think I will set up some action groups as well to toggle the solar panels and toggle the antenna. Yes. So right now we don't have anything that is giving us power and that's not good. And we're also gonna have to recharge the batteries after we have transmitted the atmospheric analysis. Just checking that it works and it is. Now we can open that up again. So the landing itself is gonna be without, like without any control of this little thingy. Which is gonna be quite interesting. can also do one of the mystery goons now. Right now it looks like we're gonna land. But I can assure you that we are... Not, I thought. But now it looks like we are. Okay. Hmm. the fuck happened there? I don't know is the answer. But we were not supposed to land now. We were supposed to skim the atmosphere and then go back in another time. Um, why did that change? You might ask. I'm gonna try anyways. Because it might still work. We can run this and take that science. We can observe this one. Just keep that science. Uh, 
because um, I know sometimes the um, trajectories mod, when you do uh, quick saves, it can get a little bit messed up. So maybe it's just because of that. Still have a lot of ablator left. Good, good, good. And we should start going up soon. Now we start going up again. But yeah, it does look like we are gonna land, actually. Yeah, we are definitely gonna land. Okay, so this did not go as planned. Hmm. Well, I guess we can try and land anyways. Why not? Oh, well, why not? The answer to that is because it didn't turn out like I wanted it to. And now I can't do this like I wanted to. That kind of sucks. Looking at that F9. And yes, I think we are gonna push it. Just did a bad thing. And we're gonna have to retry this once more. So we're gonna burn a little bit. Till we get down to like 51 now, I guess. Cut down to 50 before. And decouple and see. Yeah, now we can clearly see once again that there is a ring there. It shows that we should get into an orbit after the first pass through of the planet. But I think my action group disappeared. So I need to make that again. Oh no. There we go. And there we go. Now that changed again. Why did it do that? Because now I'm not time warping, so now it should show me the correct one. We're gonna try anyways. This might take a couple of tries, um, but it's fine. I have time. This stream has already been shorter than I thought it would be, so... We are A-OK. -okay. And make the atmospheric analysis and this one. Oh, I totally forgot to make this one anywhere. That kind of sucks. So let's see what happens this time. Definitely slowing down. Periaps height is now below 50. Looks better, but not optimal. Yeah, we are gonna land. Yeah, this didn't work this time either. Just did a bad thing. 
I think, you know what, I'm just gonna try not burning at all this time. I'm also gonna do this. That we are gonna make this action group so I don't have to remake it every time. And make another quick save once I've made that one. And you know what, let's run the magnetometer boom. Transmit that. Let that go in. And then make another quick save. So now we now we don't have anything to worry about. Now let's just decouple. And now it shows us going into an orbit again. Hopefully it's true this time. Bye bye. Bye bye little rocket. That rocket uh, or fuel stage or whatever. Transfer stage is probably the correct word for it. Is um, That's just going to be floating in space now. Because that is probably going to survive the re-entry. Or the pass through of the atmosphere. Then it's just going to burn up. No, not burn up. Then it's just going to fly out and be somewhere else, I guess. Okay, that's more like it. That's what I wanted to see. We are going to be in a highly elliptical orbit. That's going to give us a lot of time to uh, get our electricity back, which is very good. And we can run the magnetometer boom after we have gone through the atmosphere. Now let's retract the solar panels and antennas. So we are prepared before going into the atmosphere. Now let's run those and save those inside. See, yeah, we have run that and we have run this one as well in the atmosphere, I think. Oh, did get a little bit more science from that, so let's keep that one. It might be because we are now in a different biome, because last time we were in the south pole, now we're on the north, passing through. getting hot and steamy now we're getting up again and we are now in an orbit wonderful it finally worked. The question is, should I make another quick save? Because <laughs> I still don't know if this is going to be able to land. It should. But we're not sure. Um, but yeah, I, I think I'm going to make a quick save. I feel pretty confident that this is going to be able to land. It says we have 2.9 in thrust to weight, so we should be able to slow ourselves down the last little bit before the parachute can open. Although I didn't bring any drogue chutes, that is probably a very bad thing. I probably should have done that. Because they can, of course, open uh, in a lot like faster when you go a lot faster in harsher conditions. It's probably the word that I was looking for. And do we have a connection? Yes, we do. Review that data and see if we can transmit that. Which we can. Even had some left over. Noise. View that data and transmit that. We can actually transmit everything without having to wait. That we have already done out here. 
can now run the magnetometer boom. That is long. And transmit that, which is a lot of science, but it doesn't take that much battery actually. I don't know why the atmospheric analysis takes that much battery. So looks like we are gonna land in the icy parts up here in the nor North Pole. Which is kind of cool, I guess. Um, just need to think through. Is there anything else I need to do here in orbit? Don't think so. I think we're good. I'm gonna keep the heat shield because it's gonna get toasty again. It's always good to um, try and shield our experiments and stuff off a bit. Retract the antennas and the solar panels once again. And now we're going in for the landing. And this is gonna be a bit scary. Exciting, but scary. And I'm just gonna be pointing myself retrograde because that, I don't know, feels like the right thing to do. Although it might not be. Maybe I should be like at some angle so I can get a little bit of lift have some more time slowing down maybe I don't know hmm. also there is a great chance that when I try and jetson the heat shield and start the engine that the heat shield is just gonna plump out and then smash right back into us and not slow us down at all. That's also one of those things that I just don't like to think about. Because it horrifies me. And makes me feel like everything is impossible in this game. But everything isn't impossible, just most things. Okay, still slowing down pretty good. And we're still 30 kilometers up. Okay, it says we can open the parachute now, but I am not sure of that. We're gonna put the throttle to max and jettison the heat shield, and it worked. Hopefully that opens before we crash into the ground, because we only have two kilometers left. Come on, parachute! Open up! It opened up! Only a couple hundred meters to go, come on! Ah, uh, we're not gonna slow down fast enough! <laughs> Something blew up! Okay, it was only a battery! But damn it! <laughs> okay, we survived! <laughs> only a battery got lost! Damn, I did not think it was gonna go that way. I was so sure that we were just gonna die there. Uh, I mean, I, I could retry it. Uh, or maybe we can just try and extend that. See if we can roll ourselves out of this mess. And we could. Our reaction wheel was actually good enough to do that. 
don't know why we start spinning. Guess that's because the craft is messed up. Yeah, okay. I I, th <laughs> I think we're going to retry that landing even though it was it was technically successful. Just did a bad thing. Yeah, and I did I still did a bad thing. Oh fuck, I forgot to There's so much we have to redo now. That sucks. Why didn't I do... Why didn't I do a quick save? Oh yeah, that's right, because I thought it was a bad idea. But it wasn't. It was a good idea. Should have done a quick save. Okay, so we're gonna have to redo quite a lot. Now I know I need to jettison the heat shield and start the engine before 5,000 meters or 5 kilometers up. Now we know that! Something new! Something good to know! So we're gonna make those. I think we got a little from that as well. Yes, we did. Good, good, good. Okay, but this time, I'm, once I'm outside the atmosphere now, I am going to do a quick save so we can be safe. Maybe stop the time warping around here so the screen doesn't become a hazard for epileptic people, but yeah, it w did that anyways. And soon we're out of the atmosphere again. We're gonna transmit everything, then make a quick save again. Because I now I know that it is possible to land. And I know that it is possible to survive the landing as well. Transmit. And now I also know that Transmitting all of these is not going to drain out all of my battery. I can do all of that kind of at once. How much did we get for this one? 108 signs. That ain't bad. That ain't bad at all. It's a lot of science. And yes, of course, let's make a quick save here. And yeah, let's just go around. And let's see, maybe when we're at like... Maybe we should start the, the engine burning at like 8,000 meters. Instead of... Where did I start before? Five. So let's, let's aim for eight. And change that to terrain uh, altitude directly. I remember the time when you didn't have this, I can, when you couldn't change this to terrain altitude, and I only had it in flight engineer, and I was always looking up here instead.
I really think that these two like panels you have on the sides here, they should be a part of stock game. It's just weird that it's not at this point. I know it on a totally different topic, but <laughs> I, I, I just I just realized that now. It, it really should be. Because they're just so useful. Especially the app apps height, time to app apps and pair apps height. I think those and of course time to pair apps is as well. Those are just so useful to have. I mean we have the Delta V readouts here now, which are okay. They're not the best, they don't consider like everything. Which kinda sucks. Or they're not taking every aspect into consideration. And they don't really read out everything totally truly all the time. But still work. Still work. Okay, so let's get ready. Let's have that engine started. And when we hit 8000, I'm gonna press that Z. And start burning. Because we had like 600 meters per second left of Delta V in down here, so that was not the problem. The timing was the problem. I needed to open it way earlier, or start it way earlier. Earlier. Come on, parachute! Open up, goddammit. One kilometer left, and it opens up. For some reason, it opens up there. I am curious to why, but... I'm okay with it. Oh yeah, and of course, we don't have any antenna connected to the KC, so we're only gonna have to go with either full throttle or no, none at all. So I'm just gonna be pumping it now as we come down. Try and make this soft landing. Yes! Perfect! Nice! Okay, first probe landed at Juna. Let's run this one first and transmit that because I know that's a big one. This is also a big one. So it takes a bunch of battery power. Then we can start doing these. That takes a little bit of time. Yeah, we have pretty, pretty good amount of battery. So let's just transmit everything. And let's do that one and this one. 30 for that. How much was it for this? Forgot to see. It's 20 now, so I guess it was almost 20 <laughs> or something. I don't know. Uh, I think that's all of the experiments, yes. So we did that, we did that, that one. Can't do the magnetometer boom. Can extend it if we want to. Doesn't really do that much, but it looks cool to have something extended like that. Okay, so that's it for this mission. Now we have a probe landed at Mars's North Pole. Guess North Ice Cap, that's the biome. Good, now we have one, uh, one probe orbiting and one landed on Mars. We can definitely land more things on Mars as well if we want to in the future. Because there's, of course, a lot of other biomes as well that we can do the same readouts, the same experiments and stuff on. And we also have, we still have some experiments that we just haven't unlocked yet. Um, and you know what? 
Okay, we got about 500 signs from that. But I just realized that we did unlock... Where is it? Here, we did unlock this thing and I haven't sent a probe out to do a orbital survey of Earth yet. We still can't unlock this. The Holy Grail, the Gravioli. Which you can do in orbit around every planet. For so little. Oh yeah, we can also go to the space station now. So let's do that first. Because then we can unlock one of those high profile ones. And um, then we can actually get, yeah. Let's transmit this first. Uh, but I think even though the Gravioli is going to give us a whole lot of science, it's a good investment. I think we need the real antennas first. Because I really want to set up a relay network. Not only one that... Like... Works. In... In these planets that we've been to so far, but... One that actually works... In a lot of different places. Oh, and we almost drained our battery. Now we got some back. Time warping and batteries are laggy as shit. Oh, we can transmit again if we want to. Do we want that? I think we want that. So then I think we have enough science to get both the good um, uh, or the greatest even. Antennas. Oh, we got one science more in there. Transmit that. And we still have 465 data. Noise. Uh, but yeah, we can both get the best relays and the gravioli. Because I think we have like 1,400 or something like that now. Or 1,700 even. That is good. So we can get this one. And we can get this one. What else can we get that we really need? Oh, we could get one of these. I mean, I would like the... Uh, electric propulsion system. The ion engines, as it's also known. We could get that, because that... I mean, I could send a probe out to, like... Um, Jupiter and stuff with that would be really cool but I think I still have some stuff that I want to do here closer to earth for that I actually need some of these parts would really like these but I can't af no no you know what I can afford these and these I think I'll go with the better engines yeah let's go with that so now we have the most powerful engines at least that's gonna help us a bunch in building really big rockets to go really far out uh, but I think that is it for today it was a way shorter stream than last uh, yesterday was like four and a half hours this was just one and a half and um, but this was also a mission that I kinda knew what I was gonna do in and I kind of had everything planned out. Um, next time I think we're going to put out that relay network. And of course use the gravioli to get some more science. Maybe with that amount of science we can unlock the ion engines. And actually start sending things further out into the solar system. Because right now Mars is the furthest out that we have gone. Venus is the furthest in. And I don't think we're going to be able, not right now, but I, I mean in the future we're going to be able to go to, not Moho, what's it called? Mercury. Mercury. Um, we're probably going to be able to do a flyby of Mercury pretty soon, 
Not gonna even try and land there. That's just way too much of a hassle. Uh, maybe someday. Would also be fun to visit one of these uh, smaller planets. Do some flybys. But yeah, uh, going to Jupiter, Saturn. Well, at least Jupiter is probably our next next big mission that we're gonna do. But next time, I think it's just gonna be things um, things around Earth, basically. Uh, probably sending a scanner both around the Earth and around the Moon. There's a lot of things to do. But I'm not going to be rambling on about that. Because uh, otherwise I will never get to that day when I do it. Anyhow, thank you so much for watching. And have a good one. Bye-bye. Uh,